What's up, Wolfpack? Today is Friday, September 11th. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Kent Passion. And we're here with your distance learning news. Before we begin our announcements today, let's take a moment to remember our heroes and victims of the 9-11 attacks. Our thoughts and prayers go out to all the families affected by this tragic event. For the seniors, the deadline to have your senior portraits taken has been extended to Monday, February 1st. Prestige Portrait Studio has turned off their online appointment function so they can be thoughtful about scheduling appointments realistically. Their staff will be calling every family, so be on the lookout for that. Because they can only run at 25% capacity right now, they need to schedule all seniors from all area high schools in those same slots. So they'll be reaching out to help you check this item off of your to-do list. You can also check out Mr. Howdy's most recent newsletter for, detail, for details on what to wear and how to plan for your senior portrait. Attention, anybody who's interested in mathletes, the following information is for you. Let's take a look at their plans for the school year. What goals do you hope to achieve this year in mathletes? We're just hoping to have a lot of fun in mathletes. And um, with COVID and everything, we're just trying to figure stuff out right now. Um, okay. This hasn't been done before, so we're just winging it, I guess. I'd say another goal for us as a school is to kind of continue to develop momentum as a Mathletes team. Yesterday we had a lot of growth and a lot of new people, and we won lots of trophies, and I want to just keep it going. I don't want to you know, let this year be a year of, of decline and letting go, but more of let's keep on building, let's keep on growing the excitement for math. Are there any requirements to join Mathletes? And if not, what kind of people are you guys looking forward to join? Uh, there aren't any requirements for the club. <laughs> Anyone can join as long as they want to and they, I mean, you can come here to learn and if you just love math. Uh, one of my questions is, Mathletes has competitions, right? And how does that work? How does that work with this whole pandemic going on? Yeah, so we just met yesterday as coaches to talk about that. And the plan is this, we're gonna have a, a, a actually a practice meeting in two weeks and at that time, Mr. Steele, who's the teacher at um, Franklin High School, is going to host the meeting on YouTube Live. So he's going to kind of welcome people. We're all going to watch him on YouTube Live. He's going to give some instructions and some guidelines and some encouragements. And then meanwhile, each school is going to have a Zoom call facilitated by their coach. So CEO is going to have its own Zoom call like we did today. And then for the competitions, we're going to divide our Zoom group into two breakout groups, the competitors and the non-competitors. And then the competitors are gonna go to Google Classroom and find their assignment there, the, the question. And they'll have 10 minutes timed to do that assignment. Then they have to turn it in uh, with a picture or a, a scan of that. And then those will be graded and scored while the next team is going. So wow. that's that's our plan. Um, it seems like a really good plan. I'm looking forward to it. And then the first actual meet is gonna start um, in October, second Thursday of October. October, you said? Okay. Yeah. So how and when will your guys' club meet up? Well, we meet every Thursday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. And competitions should be once a month at the beginning of the month. Uh, that's about it for what we want to ask you guys. Uh, thank you for letting us come over and just ask questions. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. You're welcome. Well I'm sure many of us have adjusted to this type of distance learning by now, including the teachers. So let's see how one of our own math teachers, Ms. Gonzalez, is doing with Josiah. Let's take a look. Uh, 
Okay. How has quarantine affected your teaching style? Um, I would say everyone on this campus knows that I am moving. I am standing on desks, I'm moving up and down my rows, I'm dancing, I'm singing. So it's definitely uh, kept me more static. I'm here at my desk, so I feel like I'm not having as much fun. But from my kids' feedback, they're still having just as much fun in my classes. So I think just for me, I feel like I'm not doing what I'm normally doing in the classroom. Gotcha. What are some challenges that you face with online teaching? Technology. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not tech savvy. And when I'm in a regular classroom, if something's not working, I can easily adjust it. While on here, I have a set plan. Just like in my first class, I excel. That math platform was not working. So I was just like, oh my God, I have to fill this time. I don't know what to do. But with this class, it worked, luckily. So those are the challenges I'm facing. <laughs> what are some things that have kept you busy while over quarantine? Um, so before school started, I was trying to get out and walk more. I mean, I had no excuse um, to keep busy. I'm sure everyone did this. They were binging some Netflix show. <laughs> I watched Grey's Anatomy all the way up to season 16. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got to hang out with my, my nieces more, even though we were quarantining separately. We were quarantining from the world, so it was okay for us to hang out. Um, now, I just got teaching. Okay. What do you miss most about being in school? <gasps> oh, I'm already going to start crying. Um, <laughs> I honestly, because I'm here from 6.30 in the morning because I have kids eating breakfast in my room. Uh, if it's a football night, I'm here until 10, 11, whatever time the game ends. Or I have basketball games. I have the theater plays that they put on. Um, I honestly just miss everything that came with teaching. I mean, of course, I'm teaching my classes, but I miss like your guys' lives that I get to enjoy with you. Mm -hmm. Interacting with students. Yeah, okay. that's what I miss. Oh my God, I'm start crying. That's what I miss the most, just because I didn't <laughs> sign up for this. I didn't sign up to sit in front of a computer and teach, and that's it. I want to hang out with you guys. So mm -hmm. that's what I miss. Hey Wolf Pack, today's Friday and you know what that means. Here's Pop with Paula Sabulo. What's poppin' Wolf Pack? I'm Paula Sabulo and this is Pop, where we pop in to show you posts of the pack. Even though we're all still stuck at home, you can use our hashtag CHSWPTV for a chance to be on our show next week. Now, let's check out our Wolf of the Week, Mavis Sung. Hi, I'm Mavis Sung and I'm your Wolf of the Week. I've been in the VAPA program ever since my freshman year of high school, and I've been the concert master for chamber orchestra ever since then. It's fairly new compared to the band program, but every year we've been having more and more people join. The plus side, anyone can join, even if you've never touched an instrument before. Besides playing in orchestra, I've been involved in Pack Savvy, Pay Orchestra for our annual spring musicals, and graduation band for our previously graduating seniors. This year will mark the 10th year I've been playing the violin. My favorite memory from CO has to be junior prom. It was just a great night to let loose of everything else, dress up and be pretty, and just have a great night to be with your classmates. The decorations were amazing and everything fit into the theme of Alice in Wonderland. Despite me blistering both of my feet prior to the actual dance, it was still a very memorable night. To the new freshmen, it really sucks that your first year of high school has to be distance learning and you won't have the opportunity to physically interact with your teachers and your league crew leaders. Some advice I would give to you is to be present and be in the moment. There are no do-overs and before you know it, high school's already over. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself with AP classes. The teachers will always help you and give you the resources you need to succeed. After graduation, my goal is to get accepted into UC Davis in their global health biology major and hopefully be able to work for big companies like the WHO and the CDC. Biology has always been a big interest of mine, so we'll see where the wind takes me after high school. Thank you, Mavis. Good luck with the rest of the year. 
Well, that's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Paul Zwillow. See y'all next week. And that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Ken Passion. And I'm Isabel Herman. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a good day, Wolfpack.